This is my pan tilt mount I designed and 3D printed, my Canon EOS 250D DSLR camera. Honestly, one of the main reasons I made it was to use this large bearing I've had lying around for ages. The other reasons were so I could do cool motion controlled shots and do planning time lapses. I've had a ton of people interested in this project, which is great, but it turns out the bearing I used cost several hundred pounds to buy, which is a bit of a barrier for entry for anyone wanting to make this project. So I had to design a 3D printable drop-in replacement that just uses 6mm PVs for anyone who wants to build this. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB, who provided the PCB for this project. Ordering from GLC PCB is simple. Just go to their website, glcpcb.com, link in the description, click the Get Quote button, and upload the PCB Gerber files. Once they've been processed, a preview is displayed at the front and back. It's a good idea to check you uploaded the right files and are happy with the other settings before saving it to your cart and checking out. Okay, so now on to what it can do. I give it the ability to auto home with the use of Hall Effect sensors and magnets embedded in both axes. I chose Hall Effects because they don't require contact thus allow the full 360 degree continuous rotation you saw. When the pan tilt mount is powered on, the chances are it's pretty close to its home position. So I made it search plus and minus 45 degrees from its start position before continuing to search the full 360 degrees to save time. The magnets actually trigger the hall sensors before they're perfectly aligned, so I had to add some offsets in the code to compensate, which made it work perfectly. In my pan tilt mounts motion control mode, you can set multiple keyframe positions with various speeds and delays, then when executed, the keyframes will be smoothly interpolated between at the desired speeds. My mount can also take panoramic shots. This works by setting the start and end points for both axes and specifying the angle to move between each picture. These are taken as separate pictures so they'll have to be stitched together afterwards in software. A delay can also be added between the pictures which allows you to do some fun things too. The timelapse mode is similar but you specify the number of pictures you want to take and the delay between them rather than the angle which the code calculates. On to the design and build. I modelled the pan tilt assembly in Autodesk Inventor and made sure everything fit together and moved correctly without interference. I sliced all the models in Cura and printed the parts on my Ender 3 Pro. That's the pan tilt mount assembled, so time to solder up the PCB I designed. I used Easy EDA to create the schematic and PCB Gerber files, which were then manufactured by JLC PCB. Oh, I should probably put the components in the PCB so I actually have something to solder. The 
PSP Gerber files, schematics, code, and CAD STL files are all open source and available on my GitHub repository and on Thingiverse. Links will be in the description. Some of you may have noticed that the PCB for my pan tilt mount has three step motor drivers, not just the required two. This is because I plan to expand my mount with a linear slide rail, which will require the third step of a driver. If you're interested in seeing that, then consider subscribing so you don't miss the update. Right, back to the circuit. It is more than just step drivers, because it needs to do more than just run the motors. There are two potential dividers. One allows the Arduino to measure the battery voltage, and the other to limit the voltage on the Bluetooth module's receive pin. The NPN transistor allows the Arduino to trigger my DSLR's shutter by pulling the 2.5mm jack down to ground. As previously mentioned, there are two Hall Effect sensors for homing, and finally, there's an addressable RGB LED to display the battery level and some other status conditions. Right, now everything's plugged in, time to power it up and see if it all works. Here, the Xbox controller is connected to my PC that's reading the inputs and sending the appropriate commands over serial to my pan tilt mount. When the PC detects the A button is pressed, it sends a hash to the pan tilt mount, making it record its current position as a keyframe. The right analog stick controls the speed both axes move at. Pressing the view button executes the array of recorded keyframes. The main C++ file for the Xbox controller to communicate with the pan and tilt now is also on my GitHub repository. If you found the project interesting, leave a like, and if you want to see more of my projects, subscribe. Leave me questions down below, and I'll do my best to answer them all. Thanks for watching, and until the next one.